Hello, I'm Tom Cox. I'm a volunteer here at the American Heritage Museum in Hudson, Massachusetts. And today I want to talk about what this cannonball and this cannon have to do with the World War II tank. So the measure of a gun on a tank is typically the diameter of the barrel of the, of the gun. So the Russian T-34 uses a 76.2 millimeter gun. The American M-10 tank destroyer uses a three inch gun. And this British Comet uses a 17 pounder. But if you measure the diameter of all three, you'll find out they're all exactly the same. So why the differences? Well, the Soviet Union uses the metric system. So the T-34 was obviously measured in millimeters. In the United States, we use the imperial system, or actually the British imperial system, which means we use inches and feet. So of course, the M10 tank destroyer would have a three inch gun. Which brings us to the Comet. If we're using the British Imperial system, why does the Comet have a 17 pounder and not a three inch gun? Well, that goes way back to 1764 when the British set up a standard for ordnance. And what they did is they measured cannons at the time by the weight of the shot they fired. So the weight of the cannonball. So that was carried forward to artillery pieces all the way up into modern artillery. So the British gun is measured by the weight of the shot it fires, which in this case is of roughly 17 pounders. However, the British did do away with that system in 1919, just after World War I. So why is this World War II tank still a 17 pounder? Well, basically this gun was designed in the 1940s, but it's based on an earlier design, which was a 17 pounder. So the name stayed, even though they didn't use that method anymore. Which brings up another thing. The American Sherman tank, the A4 Sherman uses a 75 millimeter. But if we use the Imperial system, why is it a 75 millimeter? Well, that's because it's actually based on an 1897 French cannon, which was 75 millimeter. So the name stuck. And that's the difference between millimeters, inches, and pounds. I'm Tom Cox. Please come see to the American Heritage Museum to see these vehicles and many other unique and rare artifacts. We are open Wednesday through Sunday. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.